dear students i welcome you to this course edu a08 that is curriculum and instruction in secondary school mathematics i am dr samson sandia falabi i will be your facilitator in this course this is a two credit unit which resides in the department of science education this course is meant for students of science education, MS science education, who specializes in mathematics. The content of this course is in three modules of 14 units. In this course, we're talking about the nature and importance of mathematics, the trends in mathematics curriculum and development. We also learn about psychologists and their theories as it is applicable to mathematics teaching and learning. We also talk about teaching methods in mathematics, instructional aids, assessment and evaluation in mathematics. We will also be talking about the heroes of mathematics and their appraiser and quotes concerning mathematics, which will be a beautiful nugget to your understanding and appreciation of uh, your area of specialization i assure you that you are going to enjoy every bit of the facilitation on this course thank you yeah, thank you very much as uh, you have heard in the introduction uh, and in week one we want to consider the course guide and then make an introduction to the entire course itself a day two is meant for ms science education students who specializes in mathematics you have to take note of this it's compulsory for them and it's not elective for them so that anywhere they go they want to go ahead for their phd they have this initial foundation. So it's advisable for non-mathematics students not to take it. This is a two credit unit post graduate course consisting of 13 units. The course is domiciled in the Department of Science Education as you have had. So what you need to do to say that you have completed this course is number one, read the 13 study units in the three modules, read reference books and other materials suggested and the course material and by the facilitator as well. Each may contain self-assessment exercises and the tutor mark assignment at some particular point in the course. So you are required to study them. Study this and exercise yourself in them. The 13 units is in three modules. We shall go through six weeks of synchronous period and six weeks of our asynchronous period to run concurrently. We start with this course guide in the first week and end with a revision in the eighth week. So the synopsis of our modules operandi is presented in the, in the fourth one. We are going to consider development of course plan, unit plan, and weekly plan, and daily lesson plan. And the fifth week, we will consider contribution of some psychologists to mathematics instruction, and various work, and its contribution to mathematics and that of guiding as well. And this is we will consider meaning and purpose of evaluation of instruction in mathematics, continual assessment in mathematics instruction, problems and prospects of mathematics instruction in secondary schools in Nigeria. Then for our seventh week or seventh lecture, we are going to consider briefs on some past mathematicians, their quotes, what they are portraying about mathematics. So, what, and then we also consider mathematics education strategy. Then the eighth week is week of revision, which is the uh, last one. When we talk of presentation, the asynchronous, uh, the desynchronous rather, this will come up 1 to 2 p.m. on Fridays via Zoom, according to the official timetable. So information will be sent to you with the link on Thursday via the email address you submitted to now. Then we also form a WhatsApp group when we meet so that we can easily communicate uh, one another and collaborate as well. 
So make all needed materials ready in at least 10 minutes before 1 p.m. Keep waiting until the host, I mean myself as facilitator, allows you in. So then they are for the asynchronous uh, mode of presentation, each recorded lesson will be sent online for you. Listen to this at your own time and at your own place. This is the beauty of our studying now, up you up now. Now is the best place for you to study. However, let it not replace your attendance at the synchronous period. Rather, let it be a supplement. Now, concerning the TMA, you have three tutor mark assignments. The TMA is an electronic test. ETMA is a multiple choice item of 10 questions. This will be done as scheduled by the university calendar. Watch out for this at the appropriate time and do it. ETMA carries 10% of the course and the entire TMA carries 30% of the course. The semester examination will be conducted at your study center as a two credit unit course. You will have four questions in which you have to attend a compulsory question of 30 marks and any other two at 20 marks each. The examination at this level is spent on paper, which carries 70% of the course entirely. So the examination will last for two hours. So that's what we have for about the, 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 the course guide. And I wish you well. Thank you. See you soon.